Hi, everyone. I'm Jean Clark with BrandSwan, and today we are here with the founder of the Serbian Girls Academy, Peggy Pravaznik Hines. Hello, Jade. Nice to see you. Thank you. Um, so, tell us how it all started. So, in 2005, I started after three children to um, work part time at a local private high school. I was in shared an office, and we had a visitor, and we started talking about urban education. And I knew about the Nativity Miguel model, which is this extended day, extended year, small class size, nurturing, graduate support program that really helped uh, children who didn't have access to resources and opportunities to provide them that so that they could then pursue their dreams. My co-founder and I committed to going to visit one of those schools, and we walked out of there, and I said, Meg, we're starting school for girls. And sure enough, we just slowly accumulated a small steering committee of amazing people, and some of us just were dreamers and visioners and hard workers, And but slowly, as I say, these little angels popped up who, huh, they've already started a school, or B, they knew how to um, incorporate a nonprofit, or C, my favorite, someone who said, well, I don't know much about development. I only work with major donors. <laughs> and awesome. Literally, these angels just appeared. And from January 2006 to uh, the fall of 2008, we raised money put together a staff, found a site, and these, what I think, courageous families who said, oh my gosh, I need something better for my daughters, were willing to take this leap for a school that didn't even exist, joined wow. it for fifth and sixth grade, and um, we opened our school in 2008, and then in October, the market crashed. And we are a school that is 100% donor supported. We have no guaranteed income. We continue to be beholden to the incredible generosity of the community. And I would say if we waited one more year, we wouldn't exist. And yet here we are 15, 16 years later, 17 years later, whatever it is, and we're still open. And we're, we're, we're educating girls and girls are educating us and we're educating each other and creating great opportunities for all of us to be better. What was the main problem that you saw in the public schools that made you really want to start this? Most large institutions cater to those who can assertively access their strengths, right? And then you have those who have resources and choose to go outside the larger institutions mm -hmm. to go to private schools. Well, we all know that that tuition is enormously expensive and is really limited to a certain percentage of the population yeah. who has access to resources. My experience in education and in nonprofit and peace and justice work is that really community, small, attention to the individual and to the relationship, no matter the age, helps all of us mm -hmm. advance and, and reach that inner potential. So when you're tucked in a larger institution, it's easier to get lost or just be another cog in the wheel. Yeah. And I would say, rather than looking at it, though, as a problem, what we looked at was that these Nativity Miguel, that's the model that we follow, these Nativity Miguel schools were building these small communities of private education, and the students there were thriving. Mm -hmm. 98 to 100 percent were graduating on time in high school, and no state boasts that across the board. Uh, even in, in Delaware, it's anywhere between 83 and 86 percent, and that's across the board. Then these students are going on for additional education or training, and that percentage was high. So I would say we looked yeah. at it more that here were these environments where uh, young people were thriving. We had one school that had started a few years earlier 
for boys, how could we provide that for girls? I wanted to ask about that. I know why girls, but I think you just give me my answer. And I would say that we work closely with the boys school. We believe all students should have access, but research shows that when you educate a girl, you educate generations. So we, we think it's that. absolutely vital that our young women are given this similar opportunities <laughs> to advance themselves, their own dreams, and then provide for their families. I would say it is more, um, women tend to be mentors, don't they? More so, that's a good point. Can you give us an example of one student that maybe you're proud of, maybe her, his or her case, maybe is unique in some way or a huge obstacle? I would have to say there isn't a student I'm not proud of. And it is amazing um, the journeys we get to participate in. So part of the gift of this school is we form very strong relationships with our students and we work with them through high school and we continue that journey. And the stories are just incredible. And I, what comes to mind immediately is some that we just were sorting through. Um, we have one of nine children and in middle school, she was, she was raising her siblings. I mean, and not her parents were too, but they were right. yeah. working jobs. And so she would go home and have to feed her younger siblings dinner and support. She was kind of in the middle and she's yeah. the first in her, of her nine siblings to go to college and That's she's awesome. doing phenomenally. We have another student who just has taken advantage of every single opportunity and she's the first in her family to go on to college. We have another student who ended up signing up for a coding program, which she was studying coding in college, but this was a much more hands-on rose to the top, graduated at the top of her class, and has an exceptional job. I have a junior in high school who's so committed to wanting to change the world and to get the young person's voice in the mix of policy and community growth. And there was an opportunity through Harvard and MIT, a fellowship, and she went through with a cohort of 100 students around the world, and they addressed issues around environmental education and sustainability. I can go on and on and on and on. These are just the ones that are on the top of my head because I was just reviewing them for our newsletter. Do you think mentorship has a huge role in just the outcomes for kids? Do you think that's an important piece or? I do. And, but I also want to say part of our models, we work very closely with the families. Yeah. Mm. And so it's, it's, we call it the trifecta, right? Got it. The, yeah. The school, the families and the student, we do work together, but all of us need that outside person. You know, our moms can tell us, our dads can tell us a hundred things and then somebody else says it and it's like, Oh yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Right. And then, <laughs> as a mom, I'm kind oh. of like, uh, <laughs> I, I do think sometimes that outside person provides a credibility hmm. and it's not that it, it it's only because it reaffirms what we're hearing from our folks anyway that's number yeah. one but the second thing I think it uh, we do is um, expand their network right? If you think about how most of us got jobs or learned about opportunities is because somebody introduced us to that. And it, when you build that network and often mentors expand our networks, then that expands our, our students and our alums network. So I think there's so many ways that we help. All right. Last question for you. Um, if you could go back and share some wisdom or guidance with either your younger self or maybe to a friend that you knew, what would it be? The thing that I, if I look back, one, two of the things I, I think are really important to remember is probably your most valuable asset of your relationships. Invest in them for the love, the support, growth, to learn who you are. And then I would say just trust life and, and 
live it. You know, go out and and take risks and live boldly. Oh you know, God. go bit go go make what you want to have happen. Just keep going for it. And be honest. I really think honesty is is important. Um and that's it's that's a journey, right? So I I feel like I don't have to tell my 12 year old self. I can still tell myself that now. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, I think relationships, honesty, and just live boldly. You know, today's a gift. So treasure it.